how much dye is really left in the end of a jar of acid dyes after you've used everything you could use. There's always a little bit of pigment remaining along the sides and the top of the jar, and I couldn't bring myself to just throw it away. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know I like to leave no dye behind. So I decided to rinse out and dissolve these dye leftovers to create some very likely pastel colorways. I used warm water to dissolve the dye and then added that dye plus 100 grams of Superwash Merino yarn into a tie pot with some vinegar to heat for 30 minutes. Some of the colors I set up in plastic shoe boxes to start with because I only have two large dye pots that I could use for kettle dyeing like this. And so once a dye pot freed up, then I could add more yarn and dye to do the next color. So what do you think? Are these tonals worth it for using up that last little bit of color? I think that these are bright pastels and are very cheerful on a very cold winter day. If you wanna see more of this project, I did dye all of this yarn in a YouTube live stream in early December, 2024. And so you can go back and watch that replay uh, for more information about these colors.